in this video I'm going to be demonstrating a fix for installing old Windows betas on Microsoft Virtual PC 2007. Now I know most of you that have been using Virtual PC will experience this issue when you try to install an older Windows beta that the time and date will not uh, change even if you are able to enter the BIOS. And the reason for this is, is because Microsoft Virtual PC actually syncs the virtual machine time with the uh, host system time. So obviously one way around this is just to change your host time uh, to the date that you need to install uh, the older Windows beta, but I'm sure most of you don't want to do this because it could affect other applications that you're using. So there is a way to just you know disable that uh, that time syncing feature in virtual PC and that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. So. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you what would normally happen if you would uh, try to install uh, a Windows beta. So here we have this, uh, you know, standard standard virtual machine, and we're just going to uh, start it up. And, and as it's starting up, you, you have to press the delete key to enter the BIOS or uh, the setup utility, as it's called in Virtual PC. And you want to change the system date. You know, you, you normally change it to. Uh, whatever that uh, the tutorial would tell you so so I'm just going to change it to January 1st 1997 just to make it pretty simple and if we go over to the exit tab which I'm sure most of you would normally do you, you would press exit saving changes and then enter on OK but if you notice if we restart and we boot back into the BIOS the day is just going to reset to the current date as you can see it's 7 13 2014 again and that is again because it's syncing the date and time actively with the host. So to uh, disable this, first of all, we, we want to turn off uh, our virtual machine and we want to close out of Microsoft Virtual PC. And then we want to open up the Windows Explorer and you want to go to your My Documents folder, open up My Virtual Machines, find whatever virtual machine that you have. I, I just called it any Windows beta because this will work with any Windows beta. And you want to find your VMC or your virtual machine configuration file and you want to open this with notepad now there's a few ways of, of uh, doing this the easiest is just uh, right clicking and clicking on edit but if you don't have this option for some reason you can just go down to open with and then choose default program and then find notepad uh, but I'm just going to open it by using that option and this is an XML configuration file for that virtual machine and to enable uh, or, or to disable time syncing, we have to go all the way down until we find this integration tag right here. And then under this integration tag, you want to find this closing video tag and then make a new line under it. And then you want to copy and paste the text I'm going to have in the video description below. Now when you paste it, it's going to look a little bit messed up and you want to align it properly. So what you have to do is you have to put your cursor right before the uh, first components tag and then press tab a few times so that is right under the closing video tag and you want to do the same with the host time sync except this time make it so it's one tab over from the components tag and do these the, the uh, same thing with the enable tag and just make it so it's one tab over from the host time sync tag and then for the other host time sync make it so it's uh, aligned with the first one and then same with the closing components, make it so it's aligned with uh, the opening components. And once you have this, you want to press Control S or go up here to File and Save to you know save your file. And then you can close out of it. And that is the hardest part of this entire thing. It's uh, the rest is you know pretty simple. All, all we have to do is just uh, open a virtual PC and start up your uh, your virtual machine. Now it has to obviously be the one that you just changed in the file. And press delete to enter setup. And once it enters setup, you just want to change the uh, s the system date again to. I'm just going to change it to January 1st, 1997 again. Then go over to exit. And then exit saving changes and press OK. And then to show you that this works, I'm going to press delete again to enter setup. And this time, you're going to see that it is uh, set to January 1st, 1997 instead of July 13th, 2014, which is the day that I'm making the video. So now time syncing is disabled so you can successfully install a Windows beta 
Inversal PC to 2007. So, I would like to thank you guys for watching. If this helped you, be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.